game on. So today the lesson we're going to be teaching on is the cur Curse of South America, and you guys are in 8th grade uh, geography class, so just get in that mindset. And to start out, we're going to uh, watch a video. Um, Raise your hand if you guys have seen the movie Up. Yeah, so that's, a, that's the video we're going to show. Um, just so um, anyway, so Up the movie, let's give it the majority of you guys have seen it. Uh, basically, it's, we can just go on. It's going in to save. Alright, we're gonna wing it. <laughs> Do you wanna start off? Yeah. Okay. So basically, the movie Up is based around the geography of South America. Um, basically, the. Uh, Do you guys remember Paradise Falls? Paradise Falls is actually based on Angel Falls, which is in Venezuela, which is the largest waterfall. Um, that's this works. Yay! <laughs> It's the, it's the largest waterfall in the entire world, um, and so if you can see, it looks a lot like it. That's the real thing, and then this is what it was in the movie. So it's really similar, and even the birds, like Kevin, the big colorful bird, it was based on the birds in South America. Um, so this is South America. If you can imagine Ameri North America, where we are, is up. <laughs> Um, Brazil is obviously the largest country in uh, South America. It is huge compared to all the other ones. Um, the Amazon is the second largest river in the world, and it flows from the top there. Um, it's actually debated if the Nile River or the Amazon River is the largest because they're very similar in length. Um, the equator is up at the top, it goes, it's not drawn on here, but it goes through Ecuador, which is how the equator got its name. And so because the equator goes through um, that top part, it is a very tropical climate, hence the outfit. It's very warm, very nice beaches, think like jungles, think um, like where his hat, everything. Um, very tropical climate. Um, the most popular exports from South America, uh, the number one is coffee, um, and that's mostly grown in Chile and Argentina, kind of the more mountainous, mountainous regions. Also, the cocoa bean is the second most uh, popular export. Also, there's a lot of tropical fruits, such as like papaya and um, things like bananas, things like that, because it's just constant warm climate um, because of that. This is actually a more detailed map of the Amazon, and as you can see, it flows through a ridiculous amount of countries. It really, like, um, it just makes the entirety of uh, South America just very tropical, very wet. Uh, that kind of climate um, is really a popular the country. Um, this is kind of more of a kind of detailed, I guess, map of the Andes Mountains which runs uh, through Chile and kind of up to the more uh, west side of South America. And as you can see, they're right on the coast. And they're really quite large. Um, and that's kind of more where like the coffee is grown. It's kind of more of like a subtropical climate. So. All right. So why is there a curse of South America? Um, Caroline kind of gave you all the great things that South America has to offer, but there's, um, like throughout the years, geologists have looked at South America and believe it's cursed uh, due to a lot of geographical um, formations and just the way uh, the environment acts around the continent itself. So one of the first things that affects um, the curse of South America um, is the sea currents. As you can see on the eastern coast, the currents are pulling like anything that goes near that shore off the shore. So like. If a ship came in, instead of being able to land right in there, you would have to go down and around and go up here. Where the sea currents touch it, where it's really easy to land a ship, you got the Andes Mountains smack dab right there, making it hard to get any exports into the interior of the country. Basically, it's just not ideal um, 
for trade, international trade, like anything like that has to do with landing ships or anything, it's really hard to get them in there and uh, this wasn't ideal. Another current that uh, plays into the whole curse of South America thing is the Amazon. The Amazon really um, has currents that are unpredictable. It's been known to go east-west, west-east, and not have a current at all. So um, as you saw on the previous slide, like the Amazon runs through the entire country. So um, using that as like a way to move goods and stuff is would be awesome, except for the fact that you can't really do it because it's unpredictable and it doesn't really work that well. All right, another thing that South America is cursed with is uh, lack of major ports. Um, they might have some ports, but the problem is is that they're not deep enough to bring ships into. And this is the largest port they have, and as you can see, it's really not that spectacular for an entire continent. Um, USA, Britain, like all these places blow them out of the water in terms of ports and just port sizes. Um, again, this plays into the economic factor of just not being able to unload goods, it hurts international trade, and uh, it's just not ideal for the country. All right, the third thing is um, the tropical climate. Diseases really love to incubate in wet, hot climates, which is exactly what South America has. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of the Zika virus. That's the big one going around right now. You've had the bird flu, uh, swine flu, they're kind of the same thing, but um, a lot of times when you hear of like epidemics, they start in South America. And a lot of it has to do to the wet, hot climate. It's kind of ideal for diseases to start. So it's another reason why it's cursed. And the fourth reason is the dense jungle. Really not ideal to raise a family in this kind of environment, and it's really hard to colonize this kind of environment. Um, Trying to get through this is uh, it's difficult, it takes a lot of man hours, and everything in there is trying to kill you. It's kind of like Australia, like, everywhere you turn, either frogs poisonous, snakes poisonous, jaguars are going to get you. So it's just really hard to like start cities in the middle of the jungle. Also, if you want to bring the Amazon back into this, getting supplies into the interior of the jungle, really hard. There's no roads, you got to make roads as you go. So this has really harbored South America in many ways. It's because these four reasons that people believe that South America is cursed geographically. So we have a handout for you guys. Um, and what you're going to do with this handout is you're going to get with a partner. And you guys are going to try and write down um, the country names in South America. And if you could write down the major river, the major mountain range,
you guys ready to go over it? Yeah. It's alright if you didn't get it every single one of them. The lesson could be a little longer, so <laughs> you guys can right. get it one more time. Um, can anybody show me where Brazil is? <coughs> yep. Awesome. You got it. Uh, do you guys know where where are the Andes Mountains at? Like, where's that mountain range gonna be at? Like, what country? Can somebody point out on their map where the Amazon River flows? Is that where it goes? Right here? Yeah. Excellent. Good job. Any other little countries that you guys remembered? Or things on here? Argentina? Yeah. That's it. That's right here? Yeah. Yep. Argentina? You guys want to write that down? Argentina. Um, Ecuador is the little tiny yes. That Ecuador is right here, kind of more towards the top, remember, because it's the. If you guys wanted to also want to draw the line, the equator, through the country, it goes through Ecuador. You guys want to draw that? Um. All right. Um, we're going to quick go over the four things that made it cursed. Uh, can somebody give me the first reason? Uh, C cards. C cards. Mm -hmm. Somebody give me the second reason? Ports. <coughs> the Boom. Third reason. That's jumble. Mm -hmm. Perfect. There was a fourth reason. Does anybody remember it? Diseases. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So if you guys want to also with the sea currents, if you want to draw the arrows and how it hits the Andes Mountains but doesn't hit the um, the other coast, if you guys want to draw arrows for the sea currents and stuff. Yeah. Um, All right. Um, thank you guys. And we're going to do a soccer dip right now. So mm -hmm. as soon as we get this set up. If you guys will get out cell phones, um, email, not email, sorry. <laughs> Uh, anything like that. Guys, um, this is once you're done with the assessment, then this has been the crisis out there. <laughs>